I've just finished a video uh, that shows uh, how to recap a Macintosh LC power supply and then I started working on to this LC motherboard so I thought well what the heck let's shoot a video about it as well um, I've just started removing the capacitors I'm gonna show you how I do it hopefully uh, let's see all right we're nice and focused in so just go ahead I need to light up uh, yeah you can see it really nicely pick up my pliers start wiggling it and voila nice and clean and I didn't lift the pad now I've got to uh, make some room for um, tons of stuff around here Let's go. As you can see, it's, fa it's a fairly fast process. And fairly straightforward. Really, there's not, not that much rocket science involved. Just have to wiggle. And do I also you I also push onto the board, which helps breaking uh, at the lead and not lifting the pad which is something that we don't want to do Hopefully, still can see it well my solution for holding up the iPhone seems to be working very nicely actually I'm amazed <laughs> I'm a bit amazed actually <laughs> by myself the LC is one of the hardest one to recap because uh, A there are a lot of them and B some of them are in really tight spots. Uh, the tightest of all was in a Macintosh Classic 2 which was pretty much around this place here very close to a jack maybe ADB but I don't remember but I know that that was a pain I couldn't get my Soldering, soldering iron close to it, and uh, here's the last one. Let's see if there are 15, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15. Yeah, good. Uh, as you can see, there's quite a lot of capacitor, oil, junk thing onto the board. So now, yeah, it's just disgusting. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, wash it. All right, it is now time to wash the board. My method is to soak the board into some water. I previously I did it using normal tap water, and that left some uh, white residue. This stuff here, which there are minerals onto the board so then I had to clean with some IPA so lately I've been using distilled or the mineralized water plus I'm using this thing here it's called try it it's essentially it's a degreaser and uh, that is just to clean the board from those uh, residues and just to make it shiny and then I'm using ammonia also bleach should work fine for neutralizing the acid that those capacitor leave onto the board now this time I'm not gonna use this try it thing but I'm going to use this um, um, detergent for cleaning which should make the board much more shinier so let's repair the mix hopefully I won't make a disaster. Actually, first of all, I'm going to clean the um, the tub before um, putting distilled water in it, so it will work. It won't leave residue onto the board. So I've just filled filled it with some uh, distilled water. I'm going to add just a little bit of ammonia. That's more than enough. I'm going to add. A little bit of detergent as well. Hopefully, we are doing a mess. Maybe I've added it a bit too much. We'll see what happens at the end. Well, what will happen at the end? 
just gonna mix it and uh, I forgot to bring in my toothbrush that I use for cleaning where is it oh here it is uh, I just a simple toothbrush I did a slight cut here so I could just bend it a bit more so it cleans a bit better you can see the cut there now I'm just gonna mix it that's getting just nice and and now I'm going to drop in the board there we go and I'm gonna start scrubbing with my toothbrush uh, I won't bore you with that uh, the video I'll start recording when I'm done so uh, while the board is sitting there uh, it will be a nice time to start preparing those uh, capacitors what I what I usually do is I I've marked my oh eh, the mark is gonna weigh I usually just put in my pliers bend it nine degrees like so like this and then just I just cut it we'll do another one just to make sure that you saw it let's pick up the capacitors focus just bend it like so done like this and uh, make sure it's nice and straight which it is and then just go ahead and cut it um, it's always better that this bend here it's nine degrees because when you're going to solder it if it's not at 90 degrees it's gonna be a bit harder so I always recommend bending it perfectly because it, in the end you're already bending it so if you just bend that extra second doing it right it's gonna end up in a much better job and the same thing goes for the smaller guys Pinching. It's always better if you can make it sh as short as possible because when it's too long, you've got more of a chance of um, knocking the capacitors, or maybe it won't, uh, a um, expansion cut won't fit because the capacitor is too tall. So I usually make sure to make them as, uh, as short as possible when possible. <laughs> If you have broken traces, and it seems like today I don't, you can just use those long leads to rejoin the, the trace. Or at least it always worked beautifully with me. Just I, I never had really bad broken traces, really. Just had some very minor ones which were quite easy to find their way back or to rejoin but I won't bore you with that I'm going to move forward and thanks to the magic of video editing you'll see me uh, drying up and uh, starting to recap the board it is now time to dry the board and uh, for the first step I'm going to do it with a towel and then I'm going to use a um, my air compressor so I'm just going to pick up the board and put it right over there so you see right now it's nice and shiny so I'm just gonna start picking up most of the water I usually push but not move because something like this little crystal here if you move it you might end up breaking it and uh, <laughs> you're gonna have a pretty hard time getting it back to back to back where it was I'm 
Yeah. It's drying up actually fairly nicely. So now it will be time to do it with the air compressor and then we can just start warming up the soldering iron and putting the new capacitors back in place. So the board is now nice and sh shiny and it's also very clean. My soldering iron is hot so it is now time to solder the new capacitors back in. I also use some flux which helps removing the old um, capacitor tabs like uh, yeah let's start right here so you just heat it up and if there is a tab I just take it out with my um, iron so after I did all of those pads we're going to start soldering them back onto the board so the ones close to the power supply are usually the most painful one to clean because it seems like they are they corrode quite a lot so on those I usually apply some little bit of flux just to help the pads to clean I, I, this one here it's pretty much mostly corroded so I may think on uh, making a little L onto the capacitor leg and soldering it right here let's see how it goes Oh, it's gone. It's gone better, as you can see. Um, after we remove all the old solder and the old tabs, we can apply some new fresh solder, and then we're going to start soldering the capacitor back into place. So we're almost done, just missing those last three pads, three couples of pads, actually. Just gonna pick this up. Alright. Good. One more to go. Alright. So let's apply new solder. Like so. Hopefully, hopefully you can see that. Let's just try and bring the camera closer. I'm just gonna and just add a little dab of solder. You should use some thinner um, solder, but that's all I have. I do have some thinner one, but it's not as high quality as this one here. Let me just take up. Yeah, that's perfect. All right. Okay, I'm going to add some solder onto the other one as well. It's fairly easy. You don't want to add too much of it. Oops. You don't want to add too much of it because then it's going to be harder for the to put the capacitor back into the socket. And as you can see now, it's starting to do it quite quickly because it's um, just to not get too much solder onto those pads so just do it quite quickly and uh, move on to the next one so I'm almost done replacing all of the capacitors well almost done well there's quite there's still quite a long way but it's uh, it's not gonna be that hard I guess Also mind the capacitors do have a polarity so they can be placed in one way only. So better not put them backwards, if not they will just pop, which is not what I what I want to happen. I just want the machine to work nicely. So Yeah, for the moment it's going all nicely, just go slow, don't, don't be 
too fast because if not you risk damage damaging the board or maybe even worse uh, doing something stupid and uh, well on the LC there are quite a lot of them uh, Mm. Maybe it was better off to it was better off to solder this one here before all of those because as you can see now it is quite a bit hard to put them in. Let's make sure it's on the it's placed on the right way. And uh, let's solder it down. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Yes, you can. Uh, I'm not very happy about how it's soldered, so let's see if we can just go ahead and make it a bit better. Uh, that's acceptable, I would say. Not bad. Uh, three more to go. Woo. Uh, this guy here now. Yeah. Okay. You don't want to leave the soldering iron uh, onto the pad for too much time because you risk uh, a damaging the component or b lifting the pad or burning something because electronics. Uh, don't like heat that much so just be quick and check your solderings check the polarity and it's not time to solder up the last one and then we will be done hopefully because this machine was working before anyway. so I'm not expecting to find broken traces or other things to repair. So this should just work right now without too many problems. I hope. Let's just add a bit more solder. There we go. So now they're all nicely in. I'll just shut down the soldering iron and here they are lovely so now we're just gonna go on the other side onto the other room and I'm going to try it out so the LC is back in its case with the freshly recapped power supply so let's see if it will work well that's promising it means that I didn't put the ROM in backwards. Let's see if we got something on the output. And sure we do. Well, I'd say that this is a success. Let's see if those ADB work. Let's wait for a point for a mouse pointer to get out. Yeah, working beautifully. So I think that it's a winner. <laughs> Beautiful. Alright, thanks again for watching.